coins have been a fundamental part of human commerce for centuries, and their design has evolved to meet various practical needs. One of the most noticeable features on certain coins is their ridged edges, often referred to as reading. This script will explore the reasons behind this design choice, its historical context, and its relevance today. To understand why some coins have ridged edges, we must first look at the history of coinage itself. The practice of minting coins dates back thousands of years, with early examples made from precious metals like gold and silver. These metals were not only valuable but also susceptible to tampering. In ancient times, unscrupulous individuals would engage in a practice known as coin clipping. This involved shaving off small amounts of metal from the edges of coins to collect enough material to sell for profit. Since these clipped coins could still pass for their full value, it became a significant issue for economies relying on precious metal currency. The introduction of reeded edges can be traced back to the late 17th century when Isaac Newton served as warden of the Royal Mint in England. Faced with rampant coin clipping and counterfeiting, Newton implemented several reforms, including the addition of ridges or reeds along the edges of coins. This innovation made it much easier to detect tampered coins since any clipping would leave visible marks on the reeded edge. Following Newton's example, many countries adopted similar measures in their coin designs. In the United States, reeded edges were introduced shortly after the establishment of the U.S. Mint in 1792. The first U.S. coins with reeded edges included half dimes, dimes, and quarters made from silver. By adding an intricate design element that requires specialized tools to replicate accurately, Reading makes it significantly more difficult for counterfeiters to produce convincing fake coins. As mentioned earlier, reading helps prevent coin clipping by making any alterations immediately noticeable. If someone attempts to shave off metal from a reeded coin, it will be evident due to irregularities in the edge pattern. For visually impaired individuals or those handling multiple coins at once, the distinct feel of a reeded edge allows them to identify different denominations quickly. Reeded edges also contribute to a more finished appearance for coins, enhancing their overall design and artistry. While many U.S. coins like dimes and quarters feature reeded edges, others such as nickels and pennies do not. The reasoning behind this distinction lies primarily in their composition and value. Nickels are primarily made from inexpensive metals like copper and nickel. Thus, there is less incentive for tampering compared to higher value silver or gold coins. Since pennies are worth so little and often cost more to produce than they are worth, there is minimal risk associated with shaving them down. Despite advancements in technology and changes in currency usage, such as digital transactions, the tradition of using reeded edges continues today. Even though modern U.S. coins no longer contain precious metals like silver or gold due to changes enacted by the Coinage Act of 1965, they still retain their ridge designs out of tradition and practicality. Reeded edges remain an effective deterrent against counterfeiting while providing tactile benefits for users. In summary, some coins have ridged edges primarily as a historical response to fraud prevention through coin clipping and counterfeiting deterrents initiated by figures like Isaac Newton. While originally designed for security purposes related to precious metals, these features have evolved into practical elements that enhance user experience while maintaining aesthetic appeal. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.